Hi, I'm Bob Schwinn, the president of Beringer Mannheim Diagnostics. We're a company dedicated to helping people with diabetes live the healthy, quality lives they deserve. We believe that self-blood glucose testing contributes to achieving that goal. So our products are designed with you in mind. And we're proud of the fact that they're recommended by more diabetes specialists than any other products available. At the same time, we also want to do everything we can to provide the information you need to understand your diabetes and control it. That's the reason for this series of In Balance, In Control videotapes. Each one contains practical information you can use to gain peace of mind in knowing that your diabetes is being properly managed. This program in the series deals with diabetes medicine. It explains how medications work, why insulin injections are prescribed for some, and hypoglycemic agents for others. And it shows how you can learn to administer your own medication. We truly hope it helps you to gain the peace of mind of knowing that your diabetes is being properly managed. If you have further questions or need more information, please see your doctor or healthcare professional. Thank you very much, Max. You're welcome. Thank you. Come back. I wouldn't miss these times with my grandson for anything. Yes, I know you have diabetes, the same as I do. But don't think you have to stay home to take care of it. You can still have fun. Of course, we have to follow our treatment plan, but that's what helps us feel good. We have to take our diabetes medicine as directed. The right amount and on time. Just plan ahead. Whether we're taking diabetes pills or insulin, taking it as directed is very important. This medicine is the key to controlling our diabetes, helps prevent complications, and just plain makes us feel better. My nurse explained why. Diabetes means your body is having a problem making or using insulin. Everyone needs insulin to help carry nourishment into the body cells so the cells can make energy. It works something like this. When we eat, our food is turned into a form of sugar called glucose. Glucose enters the bloodstream on its way to feed our body cells. When everything is working right, insulin also goes into the bloodstream, and the insulin helps the glucose into the cells. In diabetes, there is a problem with insulin. This means glucose cannot enter the cells properly, so it builds up in the bloodstream. This is known as high blood sugar or hyperglycemia. High blood sugar can make you feel bad and can lead to many health problems. Blood sugar that is too low is also a problem. But there are three methods of treatment that can work together to help control your blood sugar so it won't go too high or too low. Your doctor or nurse will help you learn to balance these three methods of treatment. One is exercise. Exercise usually makes blood sugar go down. Another is diabetes medicine. Diabetes medicine also makes blood sugar go down. The third is food. Food makes blood sugar go up, but a balanced meal plan won't make it go too high. You need to balance food, exercise, and diabetes medicine so your blood sugar will not go too high or too low. Let's talk more about diabetes medicine. Do you wonder why some people with diabetes need no medicine? Others take diabetes pills and still others take insulin injections? Well, you see, there are some people who don't need diabetes medicine. They're able to control their blood sugar by following their meal plan alone.
Their bodies make enough of their own insulin, but they need to eat the right food in the right amount in order to keep their blood sugar from going too high. Others, like Bob Donovan, follow their meal plans, but also need to take diabetes pills. Bob's body makes insulin, but not enough. Or his cells reject his body's insulin and glucose. Diabetes pills help the body produce more insulin or help the cells accept glucose. Diabetes pills are not insulin. They make the body's own insulin work better. Other people with diabetes take insulin injections. Jean Kaplan is one of my patients who has taken insulin for a long time. Her body doesn't make its own insulin. Therefore, there is no insulin to take glucose into her cells. Pills would not work for Jean, so she gives herself insulin injections. Everyone's diabetes medicine is prescribed exactly for that person's needs. There are different kinds of diabetes pills and different kinds of insulin. The size of the dose and how often it must be taken are different for various medicines and for different people. It's important that you follow your doctor's directions exactly because your medicine is prescribed for you. Your doctor and nurse know your medicine, know if it's fast acting, medium, or slow acting, and know when it's working its hardest. They can help you time your doses and time your meals so your medicine and food balance each other. Something else, I've been taking some other medications and I just happened to mention it to my doctor. It's a good thing I told him. It seems diabetes pills or insulin injections don't mix too well with some medicines. So be sure you tell your doctor every kind of medicine you take, even aspirin and cough syrup. Diabetes pills and insulin also interact with alcohol, such as beer, wine, and liquor. There are several things you need to know about alcohol and diabetes, so talk it over with your doctor. And another thing, if you're taking diabetes pills and you develop a skin rash or upset stomach, call your doctor. As with any medication, it's important to follow directions when you take diabetes pills or insulin injections. But all in all, they're a great help for controlling diabetes. My diabetes pills sure make me feel better. And insulin injections make me feel better. Of course I'd rather take pills, but insulin can't be taken by mouth. It would be destroyed in the stomach, so I take injections. It's not so bad. The needle's very tiny. It's just a matter of getting used to it. There are several kinds of insulin, regular, NPH, or Lente. If you take injections, be sure you know which type is prescribed for you and know what source your insulin is made from. Beef, pork, or is it a man-made insulin called human insulin? You need to know the type or name and the source of your insulin so you'll always buy the right kind. Also, be sure you know how much to take and when to take it. I take mine about 20 to 30 minutes before a meal. That gives the insulin a head start so that my blood sugar won't go too high when I eat. But talk to your doctor or nurse about the exact time you should take your insulin and how you should time your meals to balance it. The nice thing about any diabetes medicine is you can take it with you wherever you go. It's important to keep it all together. With insulin, just keep the bottle you're using at room temperature, and it's ready all the time. Of course, don't leave it in a hot car or on the windowsill. You can refrigerate your extra supply, but don't let insulin freeze or get too hot, because then it won't work anymore. Drawing up your insulin is easy. Basically, you just have to keep everything clean. Air needs to go into the bottle to replace the insulin you're going to take out and you're ready to give yourself an injection. Now decide where. I rotate my injections. When you rotate the injection sites, it's easier on your skin and helps the insulin be used better. Nothing to it once you know how. One way to rotate sites is to first give yourself an injection, like I did in the thigh. 
the next several times, use different spots in that thigh. After several days, when that area is pretty well covered, move to one of the other injection areas. The other thigh, the abdomen, arms, and the upper buttocks. You can decide on your own pattern of rotation, but when you follow a rotation plan, it will be several weeks or longer before you come back to where you started. That gives your skin plenty of time to rest between injections. Your nurse will help you practice insulin injection. You'll be able to do it just fine. Remember that your diabetes medicine is only part of your treatment. Exercise and meal plan are the other parts, and all three have to balance each other out. Your insulin is working even if you don't eat, and diabetes medicine without food can make your blood sugar go too low. If you take diabetes pills or insulin, eat on time and don't skip meals. This will help you prevent hypoglycemia or low blood sugar. If you feel your blood sugar is getting too low, you may feel sweaty, shaky, irritable, or have cold, clammy skin. You should test with self-blood glucose monitoring. If you can't test but have symptoms of low blood sugar, you need to act immediately. Drink half a glass of orange juice or eat a tablespoon of honey or drink a glass of skim milk if you have low blood sugar at home. And if you're out, always carry some raisins or lifesavers with you. After you've taken the food, test your blood about 15 or 20 minutes later to see if you've corrected the low blood sugar. If it's still low, eat the same kind of food again. If you have low blood sugar several times in a few days, or if the low blood sugar is severe, call your doctor. You should always be prepared to correct low blood sugar but following your treatment plan will help you keep from having it. You need to learn to balance your meal plan with exercise and diabetes medicine. And the best way to know whether they're balancing is to test with self-blood glucose monitoring. You should test your blood sugar several times a day. Test before meals, after exercise, and whenever you feel different. Self-blood glucose monitoring will help you know if your meal plan is balancing your diabetes medicine. I keep a notebook and write down my test results and anything else that may have affected my blood sugar, such as when I exercised, took diabetes medicine, or ate. Helps me and helps my doctor and nurse figure out if my diabetes medicine is controlling my diabetes. Mm -hmm. When you test your blood sugar and keep records, you'll remove guesswork in the control of your diabetes. Now let's review the basics. Remember the name of your diabetes medicine. And if you take insulin, know its type and source. Take the exact dose at the exact time as directed by your doctor. Now, the bottle of insulin you're using, or diabetes pills, can be kept at room temperature. But always keep a supply of diabetes medicine on hand. Diabetes medicine and exercise usually make your blood sugar go down. So balance them by following your meal plan. Eat on time and don't skip meals. And keep emergency food on hand in case of low blood sugar. Carry raisins or lifesavers with you when you're away from home. We have certain responsibilities when taking any kind of medication. and. These are facts we need to remember about our diabetes medicine. My diabetes medicine has done a lot for me, and yours will do a lot for you, too. It's going to help us feel good for a very long time. And I wouldn't miss these times for anything. <laughs> Mannheim Diagnostics offers a complete line of products to make self-blood glucose testing accurate 
reliable, and easy to do at home and away. Wherever you are in life or whatever you may be doing, the popular AccuCheck 2 blood glucose monitor, used in more hospitals than any other monitor, features state-of-the-art electronics for accurate and easy blood glucose readings in two minutes. For busy people who expect the most of themselves and from everything else, the ultra-compact Tracer blood glucose monitor offers the ultimate in convenience and accuracy for self-blood glucose testing. For people who appreciate convenience and economy, the ChemStrip Matchmaker Visual Reader offers unsurpassed portability and affordability without sacrificing accuracy and reliability. And the Merlin Electronic Logbook stores all your information on diet, insulin, exercise, and blood glucose with the push of a button. Merlin connects directly with AccuCheck 2 or can be used with the entire family of Beringer Mannheim Diagnostics products. Accurate, reliable, easy to use. Self-blood glucose testing products from Beringer Mannheim Diagnostics help you keep your diabetes under control to get the most out of every single day.